Hey everybody, this is Eric for The Little White House, and today I want to, wow, I want to talk about being alive and being truly grateful for being alive. First, before I get into the meat of the subject, um, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And when something hits you that you know is, uh, it reminds you of what you're thankful for, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Now, <clears throat> almost exactly a year and a half ago, I was going through one of those times in life where you're barely hanging on by a thread. And during that time in my life, um, it, was, it was pretty dark. I had found out that, well, I had... I, I had found out previously that Jessica had been on um, some drugs, and you can go hear her story in, I'll leave a card up here somewhere. But um, that weekend, <clears throat> on Friday night, I got about two hours of sleep. And then um, Saturday, Saturday afternoon or evening, uh, she was passing out a lot. And she happened to be on Skype with her mom, and I asked her mom, should I take her to the ER? And, well, I had taken her to the ER, like, many, many times before, and they had never done anything that was helping her. And her mom said, yeah, go go ahead and go to the ER. And so I got her bundled up and took her there. And when she got there, they knew immediately that she was in some serious trouble. We didn't go to the triage. We didn't wait in the waiting room. We went directly back to a room. And they gave her Narcan. And I sat up with her all night. And because of the sensitivity of the situation, I knew that I had to get her out of our house and, and somewhere where she was going to be safe. So I took her and the kids, and I drove north uh, 200 miles to her mom and dad's place. On the way there, because I hadn't had any real sleep since the th previous Thursday night, we were about 20 miles south of Ludington, and I fell asleep at the wheel. I woke up on the rumble strips on the opposite side of the road, about ready to go off the road, and my son and my wife both woke up and said, Daddy! And that woke me up enough to get me to continue. But I should not be here today other than that. So I know that God has a plan for me and for us because my whole family was in the car. We should all be dead right now. But there's a special work that he has for us. And I believe that this is part of it. Everybody needs to know that they need to be thankful in everything. Because that's what the Bible says. 
In all things give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Jesus Christ. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. So feel free to join us on any of those platforms. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless. And see you next time.